The Plant-Based Athlete is a book that came out a few days ago. It is outlining a game-changing approach to peak performance. Game-changing. I see what he did there. It is written by both Matt Frazier and Robert Cheek, legends in the vegan performance field, and it has a foreword by God himself, Michael Greger. Sounds promising. So in this video, I'm going to give you a full review on the book. I've read through it entirely in the last few days. I'm going to give you the pros and cons so you can decide whether it's a book worth reading or not. So are you ready? Let's just dive right into it. I've read easily over 100 books in my life about health and fitness. And overall, those books can be classified into three different distinct categories. Number one, they're the submarines. Now these are books that go very deep into one specific topic. They're usually very hard to read and sometimes they show you new ideas. For example, that is How Not to Die by Michael Greger, the China study by Dr. T. Colin Campbell, or Low Back Disorders by Stuart McGill. Then there are sailboats. These are the second category. They don't go that deep, but they cover a lot of ground. They tend to be easier to read and they usually have a lot of testimonials, such as The Stark Solution by John McDougall, Eat and Run by Scott Jurek, or Eat to Live. And then number three, there are the hot air balloons. They take off, wow, with a big celebration. And in the end, they just turn out to be full of hot air, such as the carnivore code by Paul Saladino. Now the plant-based athlete book is certainly not a hot air balloon. It is also not a submarine. I think it doesn't want to be a submarine. Instead, it is a sailboat. I really don't know how I came up with those arbitrary classifications. So it is largely written as a beginner's guide to plant-based eating for performance, aiming to appeal to as big of an audience as possible. Which doesn't mean that it's a bad book, it's just a perfect book for a specific audience. Number one, people that are interested in plant-based eating but are not eating plant-based already. And number two, people that are already eating plant-based and just want to get their knowledge a little bit to the deeper level. So while The Plant-Based Athlete is overall a very good book, for me personally, there were two things that were especially worth noting. Number one, the abundance of plant-based success stories. As someone that is not really following professional sports too much, I like to read more in my free time and just, you know, work. It was especially refreshing to see how many vegan athletes there really are. Novak Djokovic, Alex Morgan, Cam Awesome, Cam Newton, David Hay, the Diaz brothers, Dotsy Bosch, James Wilkes, Mike Tyson, and of course, Lewis Hamilton. To name a few. And I think this is extremely reassuring and calming for a new person that is looking to give this plant-based eating thing a shot. Number two, I really appreciated also the holistic approach of the book. Because the book, again, is written as a sailboat, the awesome classification there. Matt Frazier and Robert Sheik can cover a lot of ground. So I really appreciated that they're not only touching base on protein or supplementation, but they're also touching base on the mindset and goal setting, which they call in the book, unleashing your inner athlete. And that is just super awesome. So while these are the two things that I really liked about the book, there's also one thing that I a little bit disliked. And that is in those books in general, they are quite one-sided. Let me explain. Whenever you get a point across, it is beneficial that you touch base on the pros and the cons. If you talk consistently about the pros, pros, pros of something, it is very hard to be believed. So when you do recommend something or when you do a review about something, it is always beneficial to add a negative point. That may or may not be what I'm doing right now. Now there are not that many cons to a plant-based diet in the first place. And there are not really not that many cons to the plant-based athlete book. A potential negative could be, in my eyes, that the plant-based athlete book should have clearly put across that following a plant-based diet or you know, starting a plant-based diet is not turning you into a rainbow pooping unicorn. We have dozens of testimonials in the book why plant-based is the way to go, it's the best thing that you can do for your energy, blah, 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 blah. but there's not a single testimonial of a person who's like, look, it helped me, it is great for the animals, it improved my energy, improved my life overall, but that's really all there is to it. 
Because there's no such testimonial, people might think that they're doing something wrong if they're not running a 10k after eating a cup of broccoli. So it also helps to be super realistic. Look, plant-based diets are the best thing that you can do for your health and for your performance. There's no doubt about that. I'm plant-based, I'm vegan for a few years and it's the best thing that I've done, you know, for my life. However, if you don't feel immediate and massive benefits, you shall not despair. This is not a reason to hop off the bandwagon. Instead, tweak your nutrition so it really fits for you and then give it a little bit of time. You know, the benefits for the most part are not that immediate. So to make a long story short, the plant-based athlete book is awesome. It's definitely a book worth reading. It is perfect for people that are interested about plant-based diets or that are already following a plant-based diet and want to get their knowledge a little bit to, the, to a deeper level. While it's not on the level of a how not to die or how not to diet or the China study, it covers a lot of ground and it gives you a lot of interesting insights about different aspects of vegan performance. I put a link in the description where you can learn more about the book and possibly get the book for yourself. So if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, I touch base on veganism, fitness and personal growth, then certainly subscribe to this channel. And if you want to get coached by me, I help vegans or soon to be ones get in the best shape of their life. I put a link in the description where you can learn more about what I do on a daily basis. You can learn about the awesome success stories that I have, the awesome testimonials. And if you want, then you can schedule a free call with me. So talk to you soon or see you next time.